All right, bro. This is this is raw. This is raw. Don't say that when we're sitting on the couch together. Oh, this is this is raw. Okay, here, here. Open up your phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the ban list just came out, and Konami murdered the TCG. Now we're both at work. Like I literally just came from my lunch break to Alpha's house. Um, we have to go back to work, but I want to do a quick reaction. And that's not a reaction. It's more so of a discussion because I've seen the ban list. So is he. So is he. I said see my bad. So is he. And um. Yo, the Dallas is nuts. This guy doesn't believe it's real. It's not real. It's fake. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it up somewhere on the screen, maybe over here, so that me and Alpha can both be in the thing. Okay, so let's first talk about the band section and um let's go let's go to the band section. So he has you, it on the You wanna you wanna go band first? Yeah, yeah, I wanna go band first. The limited section is my favorite section. So band we have scythe, which is doesn't make sense at this point, I don't think I don't understand why. They need to do it anyways though. Bro! Barrier statue of the storm wind is gone. Thank God. I don't want to deal with flu anymore. This is what I mean because we everyone has been saying it, but when everyone says it, Konami never does it. So that's why I'm like, this is fake. Yeah, but they finally did it, and then they banned Kit Close, which you know, whatever. That that was kind of um, something people were talking about, anyways. It's the limited section that gets me crazy though. But then they also banned Sprite Elf. This kind of slaps Sprite like a pretty big amount, to be honest with you. Um, I know they, per I think they hit it for the tier limit matchup so that tier limit doesn't have access to elf, but it does hit Sprite like pretty hard, I would say. I think it's weird because Sprite's a crazy card, I mean, sorry, elf is a crazy card. Elf is a crazy card. But it's kind of, kind of, kind of came out of left field, right? Like you would almost think, So I uh, thought Starter was going to get hit. If you're going to touch Sprite, uh, I mean, I don't think they touch anything else for Sprite. No. This is the only Sprite related yeah. thing. But you know it wasn't meant to hit Sprite specifically. It was meant to hit like all the all other the variants, the things variants. that use twos, you know? Yeah. But so. so that's the band section. Okay, cool. The limited section is what I want to get into. Bro, they limited all the Ishizu cards. They limited all the tier limit names. And Ancient Fairy Dragon is back. Now, okay, Ancient Fairy Dragon being back is kind of cool, but I think it's errated, so it's actually not as good as it used to be. So I'm not as excited about that. I Like, you know, before I would have been crazy excited. Now it's whatever. Uh, we also got the pseudo at three. Spoiler for the unlimited section. Um, but the pseudo being at three makes, makes Ancient Fairy also kind of still cool because that coming back and then it just pseudo's back. So it's really easy to get into any field spell now, which is nice. But, um, yo, this guy's just shaking his head. Three? No, wait, what is it? Four, all four. All four of the Shizu cards are limited. And then all three of the tier limit names. Tier limit's not playable. It's not a playable deck anymore. Which is so nice because I, I hated the Bistials. And I feel like the Bistials are not going to be relevant anymore. Um, the Koshtura, Koshtura is pretty much the best deck now, though. I'm telling you, it's not. This isn't a real list, man. This is fake. I think Koshtura is, like, the best deck now. Um, I will say I think uh, Branded is going to be really good now without this being around. Because I feel like people are going to be off the Bistials. And I feel like Branded is actually going to pick up a lot of, like, steam. Which is nice because I, I was planning on playing Branded. But then I might not even play Branded because let's go into the unlimited section. And the first thing I'm going to talk about, I don't care about nothing else on this. We have three Lithosagem. You know how good that is for Dino? Since I'm basically the resident Dino boy now. You know how good that is for Dino? That's insane. I don't really care about the rest of it. You can talk about the rest of it. Lithosagem is actually... It, it's funny because um, you could almost argue that... Um, the extra deck rip part of Lithosagen right now isn't going is going to be unnoticed because everyone's building their extra deck to play around because you're ripping apart your extra deck. So it's not that that's crazy. It's that you have um, well you also don't have a VFD anymore, right? So this is just like more of a really good enabler, and only one diagram. So it's I'm gonna burst your bubble a little bit here. I think it's gonna be good. You're gonna play it, but it's not gonna be like oh color. no, it's not gonna be broken. You not, don't have VFD, like, but but I think it being back is nice just because. Before playing one diagram and one litho felt really bad yeah, because if terrible. you drew the litho, the one diagram does nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now at least if you draw a litho and you have a diagram, you can still search for another litho. You have follow up, yeah, yeah. which is something that's really crazy in the deck. So that's that's really nice. Truking down is definitely a build now. Um, the pseudo being back at three is kind of cool. Um, I feel like people are going to be on it, but you know, paying half. You only ever played now. one copy back in the day, anyways. Yeah. So like they were really just putting it from one to zero back in the day, and now they're just like. Um, now they're bringing it back to three because it doesn't make a difference at one. Yeah, it's uh, three, no difference. Jet Synchron, Mecha Phantom Beast, and uh, are back because obviously Hulk is gone and those aren't seeing play. Yada Gross being back doesn't mean anything. Spiral Result being back can be kind of spicy. Spiral might start doing some funny things, but um, is Master Plan still banned? I actually don't remember. Uh, something else when Spiral was hit. I don't remember what it was. So I don't know if Spiral is going to do anything. I don't have enough knowledge on the deck right now to make a 
actual judgment call on that. Um, I'm gonna let Alpha speak on Servant because yo, Penn does deck, baby, and Penn got Servant, which is one of their best. Uh, it's not a starter; it's more so. A, it's a good starter, yeah. It's it does everything. It's a starter and extender. There you go. It's but like you um, got it back at three. You don't have Electromite. Whatever. You know, yeah, you don't have Electromite, so I don't know how this will like pan out, but it's like a. It's like a nice treat back. It should have been unbanned when Electromite got banned anyways, probably. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's nice that it's back, right? But, again, this this list isn't real, so it doesn't matter. No, this list is real. Bro, yo, okay, so I said this to start, and I basically said when I was doing my list prediction, I'm like, either they're going to ban Kick Close, ban Instant Fusion, and hit the field spell to one, or they're going to limit all the names. And they did both, basically. They didn't hit the field spell. Apparently, we know still at three. But Kid Kalos is banned. Elf is banned. And all the tier names are at one. And all the Ishizu names are at one. That deck is not playable. Yo, show him the screen right now. You know what he's doing? He doesn't believe the pictures. I'm, I'm going on So this... he's literally on the website to find out if it's real or not. Uh, I promise you it's real. I was on the website. Look, it's right there. Look at the first thing. No, Artifact site, barrier statue banned. Oh, it's fake, bro. What is this, man? It's fake. Yeah, no, this is real. Okay, so wait, Konami okay. has never listened to the community for it. Because, because think about it. I only reason I say it they over listened this time. It's because even though hitting everything to one was everything that's what everyone was asking for, it yep. made the most sense. People were just agreeing the most about it. But think about it, where the company is just like, yeah, so we're gonna take like seven different cards and put them all to one. I don't know if that's ever really happened since Dragon Ruler. Yeah, I was just about to say Dragon Ruler is the last time it happened, and I think. Zoo, they never did that many cards. Because they, they go bit by bit, usually. They, yeah. like, they, like, they tap a little thing, they realize it's still too strong, people complain, they tap again. This is just like, boom, boom, boom. So why this is surprising to me, I know everyone... So, okay, actually, no, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the tier names at one, but the fact that they also put the Ishizu names at one is pretty big, because um, I was just thinking how, like, all of the tiers got super rares in the new OTS pack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I, I thought I thought it was Paralino they're going to, like, tap, Yeah, right? exactly. So, because Merle and Hovinus, I think, both got super rares, I would thought it was going to be Paralino and Kit that were going to get banned. They banned Kit, but they also limited everything else, so that makes the super rares kind of iffy. And then Rhino Heart is also a, an ulti, which is kind of veg now, because mm -hmm. Tear is basically a non-playable deck. You know, there's going to be someone who does something oh, with funny. I guarantee it. I don't know if you want to bother like putting this up, but funny enough, Ancient Fury Dragon isn't effective until March 10th. Because I think this ban list is effective. Like, so the ban list is effective two, right? yeah, February 13th, which is next Monday. Today's Monday. It's yeah. next Monday. But Ancient Fairy Dragon technically itself won't be legal until March because I think that's when we get the reprint of yeah, Ancient like, Fairy Dragon with the yeah, errata. Yeah, that makes sense. Which yeah, yeah, is, yeah. Uh, so I haven't, I, haven't seen that, I haven't seen them do that either. They did that? No, did they do that with Chaos Emperor Dragon? Yeah, they did that with Kate Separate Dragon when it came back. They said, oh, oh the Arata and then the Arata's gonna... Oh, but the, the thing with Ancient Fairy Dragon, don't let anyone cheat you, eh? Don't go to locals February 14th and someone plays pre Arata Ancient Fairy Dragon. That's not legal. No, 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 no. It's post Arata and it comes out March, what, 10th or something like that? March 10th. It says March 10th. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so implications for the metagame. Uh, I just want to say this real quick. Uh, Alpha, if you want to put something in as well, let, let people know. But pretty much my, my, my thing is now, I think Kostra is probably going to be the best deck. I know they definitely wanted to push that archetype, and they did a pretty good job pushing that archetype. Um, I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit upset because I didn't pick up it. I didn't pick it up at Sneak Peek because I thought Tail Limits was still going to be the best deck. Again. But, <laughs> but up. Dino best deck. But Dino, yeah, yo, listen, listen. Dino's also getting some new support. We won't get that for a while, but Dino's going to be really good. Lithosatrum's at three. Um, I think Kostra, honestly, is probably going to be, quote-unquote, the best deck in the format. I think Branded has a really strong second-place argument. Um, just because... I always thought Branded was going to be a powerful deck, but I think it's even more powerful now because you don't have... The Bistials are still exist, I guess. They're still around. But do you think people are going to be on the Bistials just for Branded? I don't think so. The problem with Bistials... I know a lot of people said before, like, they're so strong, you would play them even with the format, like... Um, not focus on lights and darks. I think that's going to be a 0% chance. I think when you go into Kashira, you can't afford to You can't any, afford, yeah. You Bistool in your hand against Kashira is nothing. Yeah, unless you're playing um, a deck that uses it as like a... An engine. A, an engine, an extender. You're not going to have a good time. Yeah. Um, but I think... Do, wait, so we're, we're predicting what it's going to be like good after this balance. Right? Yeah, so yeah. So after this balance, I, for me, it's going to be Kashira is going to be number one. I think Brandon has argument for number two. Um, I don't, and then three to five, I think you could argue different decks. I think Ashira will definitely be, I think Ashira will be one of them. Yep. I think there will still be a lot of flu players because mm. they're gonna just play, um... Apex? Yeah. Oh, they'll just play, because 
Flutter has all their interactions still. They just lost their floodgate. So... Couldn't you, know, you argue Flutter that floodgate plays... was the best part of the deck, though? It was, but then I'll be re- I'll give credit to flu, pair, flu players. The good ones win... Even, even, when, even with statues not in part of the equation, right? They, yeah. they know how to do their interactions really well. Yeah. So I think it will become actually a pretty skillful deck, sort of, okay. maybe. That's fair. Um, at least more than it was before. They also still have 3 die 5. Yeah, they, they, so they, they have still lot, have their own floodgates. They have a lot of tools. Um, obviously, die 5 is not great into Kastira, so that's also like a thing to think about. I, I think, funny enough, and we see this in TCG a lot, we have so many like creative people. I think people are going to try and still like work something out for tier. Oh, well, interesting. I thought you were going to say Dragon Link, because my third thing was going to say Dra- I was going to say Dragon Link yeah. might be a viable option in this format. Uh, One Striker Dragon makes it tough because of Kosh gets Striker through. Dragon should come back. Yeah, no, if Striker Dragon works. came back to at least two, I don't think they would put it at two anyways. But if it came back to more than one, I feel like it'd be more viable, because one Kosh banishing your Striker Dragon is kind of iffy. Yeah, I, I don't... I, I feel like Tier probably has, like, met its end here. Yeah. But I think people are still going to try and figure something out, still try and do something with it. Uh, I don't know what that will look like, but you know, you know the TCG, they love um, committing to their strategies. Yeah, yeah. Right? Anyways, that's our little reaction slash discussion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. They, Konami absolutely murdered this ban list, bro. They murdered the TCG, I'm not going to lie to you. This is completely different. Elf being hit was a huge hit for Sprite. Like, I think Sprite has fallen off, fallen off the top five for sure after Elf being gone. I think the biggest shame is we lost a lot of the cool sprite variants. Like Tri Sprite is probably Tri Sprite's not playable with Elf, no. I mean you have gigantic still, but like Elf was such a big part of it, right? Yeah. Uh, the new Gishki stuff was really cool sprite, but you probably if I recall the big combo requires two elf. Now you have zero. Yeah, now you have zero. So that you know. Um I think that's a shame losing those things. I think Elf was gone. Yeah, but again, I think they hit Elf for tier and not for Sprite. Because I think starter for Sprite would have made a lot more sense. I was actually thinking Sprite starter was gonna go to one, so um yeah, I think Sprite's out of the top five decks of the format. I think Kosh and Branded are gonna be the top two. I'm gonna say Dino just because I really think I truly believe Dino can be really good, especially into Kosh. Um I know they're gonna try to lock your zones if you go second Dino, but um the thing about Kosh is okay this is not i'll, I'll do a full dive discussion later because i'll probably do an updated deck profile but the thing about kosh is if you're going second um tyranno is really good into them and uh you have book of eclipse you have book of moon you have instead of having to play hand traps and board breakers for tier now and this deals you just take all those cards out and play anti-kosh cards and if you can book of moon your opponent's entire board with like an eclipse or lunar eclipse or something like that and you literally just have to summon conductor and you have game so uh it's going to be an interesting format. Let's see how it pans out. I'm going to be spending the next week or so studying this format. Um, this is going to be good, bro. All right. Thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spaco and Alpha signed out. Peace. Sword Soul. Oh, this is great. Oh, shoot. Sword Soul is Sword Soul. Okay, Sword Soul maybe number three. Sign on number four. Keep this cooking. All right. All right uh, Bye.